What's up my friends, it's your friend Watchman the Velador 83 and I'm coming at you with a new video. And today I want to talk about a war. And it's a war that's been been in the heavens for thousands of years that's still raging that this whole world that it's been in the spiritual realm has finally spilled over into our realm. And it's been here for hundreds of years, even thousands of years, but it's here. And I've been seeing a lot stronger lately. But if you read the Bible in uh, 1 John 5.19, and we know that, the, that we are of God, the believers, the Christians, everybody that, that believes in Jesus Christ, we are of God. And the whole world lieth in wickedness. Basically, the leader of this world, the owner of this world, is Satan, the wicked one. And from what you see on TV and all this stuff, you already know that that's pretty accurate. The thing that makes me sad, there's a lot of blind people, even a lot of believers, a lot of church go goers that are pretty blind to this spiritual war that we are fighting. And, um,. And in the Ephesians 6.12, it tells us a little bit more of that spiritual war. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. The Bible is pretty clear what we are fighting against. And that's pretty accurate. That's a pretty accurate statement because if you look at the news, that's in my case. Every time I see the news... It gets worse day by day. It's like ninety. It's like ninety percent bad news. Death, murder, earthquakes everywhere, dead children, um, etc. Wicked people, mass shootings, evil people, sick, twisted people that rape, kill, and destroy children. I mean, it's, I mean, you name it. Every time you see the news, it's just filled with just bad stuff. And the church is just sleeping on this. Now, like, the, the church is just dormant. The church doesn't talk about this. I mean, yeah, there might be a few churches that talk about that. But do they really get to the root of the problem? Or do they just want to say a, a feel good message and that's it? Give me my money. Hope you feel go home and feeling good. That's it. I don't want to preach about that. The church is dormant. The church does not want to talk about certain topics anymore. And that's the reason why all these institutions, which I'm not going to name names because from other channels that mention certain names, they get a strike. So I'm not going to do that. But as you can tell from this picture, you already know what I'm talking about. These institutions are taking advantage of the dormant church and take over the narrative. They have answers. Or they're the ones that straight up create the problem knowing that the church is not going to fight about it. And that's bad. And that's the reason why there's a lot of channels like mine. And of course, my channel is not as big as other ones, which I wish it was. But, you know, as long as I reach, I'm not here for subscribers. I'm not here to be famous. I'm just here to spread a message. That's it. And if my message just reach, reaches one person, that's all I care about. But that's the reason why my channel is here. I'm here to sound the alarm to let you know what's going on if the church doesn't want to. Because this world is full of wickedness. It's been led by the devil. There's a lot more demoniac forces out there than there's spiritual godly forces out there. And I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of a godly, a godly force, uh, a troop of God. That's what I want to do. And how do we do this? Well, first of all, look at what Jesus said to his disciples. And remember, back in those days, there were 12, well, 11, minus Judas. But here it is. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents. And harmless, harmless as doves. Jesus knew what he was sending his disciples into. 
and that's what it is right now we are entering a world full of demonic forces full of evil and he knew very well that's why we got to be as wise as serpents and harness some doves but here like I made a choice you make a choice if you just reach my channel for the first time and you don't know what I'm talking about make a choice but once you make a choice if you decide to go down this rabbit trail it's a dark place a very dark place then that's why you gotta be really anchored in your faith really anchored in God because it will be really easy to just go into a dark place and not be able to shine any light on there and you might be able to get lost so please before you make that choice make sure you're really anchored in the faith and on God the first step would be pick up a Bible preferably a King James but it doesn't matter up to this point if you really want to fight this war pick up a Bible start studying the Bible be really anchored in the Bible that's a very first step Second step, buy books on those topics. Buy spiritual books. Even I'm going to tell, like in my library, I got books that I shouldn't even have of evil and kind of and that kind of stuff. But any great general will tell you, before you go to war with an enemy, you got to know your enemy. And that's what I do and that's why I have those books. Because if I want to fight them, I got to know them. But I'm telling you, make your own library on any topic if you want to fight this war. Your main book should be the Bible. After that, any other book, make your library. Do not go on the internet. Do not search anything on the internet because we already know the internet is full of evil. And it is controlled by the evil one. But if you did make the choice and if you're going to go to that dark place, please be the light. Be a light in this dark world we need to we need more soldiers we need more soldiers like us because i know there's a lot of truths out there but we need more go to my facebook page watch my 83 give it a like over there also give it a click and the little bell so every time i upload a video it gives a notification of also if you're new to my channel and if you like this type of stuff i will be posting more stuff like this please like share and please subscribe to this channel because we need more soldiers like you. Have a good one and God bless. Peace.